After 24 minutes at the Omni, the Hawks are in this thing, down by three against the Chicago Bulls. This is the Reebok Halftime Report. Ernie Johnson, Kevin Lockery, the head coach of the Miami Heat. Chicago goes for a sweep tonight. Same story with the New York Knicks. They were up by two, 33-31 after one. But that's a pretty high-scoring game against the Pacers. Ernie, with uh, Indiana has to really be happy. 33-31 at the end of the quarter. The pace really favors them. It's an up-tempo game. I think Indiana's got a good chance to win the basketball game. Let's bring you some bonus coverage of that game. They're playing at Market Square Arena. Game three, the Knicks going for a sweep. We turn it over to Marv Albert and John Andres. Doing his best on the boards. And it gone by. In the second quarter, the Knicks and the Pacers are tied at 33. Charles Smith just did beat the 24-second buzzer. It will be Indiana ball. Well, the Knicks got off to that fast start. They led by as many as 12. They hit eight of the first nine, but Indiana has been able to turn it around. Marv Albert, John Andres, Al Troutwick from Market Square Arena, Indianapolis. The Pacers trying to get back into the series. The Knicks hoping to sweep it here tonight. And Trent thought he was fouled. And then called for the timeout to avoid the tie-up. The Pacers have looked for this man to step up tonight. They have not gotten big performance out of him in the prior games, but he has done just that here so far. On the center scoreboard, it's the single time. So it is 33 to 33 early in the second period. The Knicks trying to go for the sweep against the Indiana Pacers. Also, the Seattle Supersonics and Utah Jazz just about to tip it off at the Delta Center. They're tied up one game apiece. Neither team has scored 100 points, a very competitive series in the Western Conference. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the upcoming game between the Suns and the Lakers, game two of our doubleheader. Sir Charles talks to Sir Gary. It comes up next. doubleheader is the Lakers and the Suns, which should be something to see. What do the Lakers have to do now? I know it win one game is the obvious question, but how do they get that one win they need to advance? Ernie, just keep playing the same way they've been playing. They're playing with way more emotion than Phoenix play, is playing with. Also, their big front line has bothered the Phoenix Suns, particularly the Campbell matchup on Barkley. That's been a major difference in the series. Of course, a lot of folks thought that when the Suns got Charles Barkley, that would bring them a championship. What does Sir Charles think now? Well, our Gary Bender had a chance to talk to him earlier today. The Suns swept the regular season with the Lakers five games to none by an average of 14 points and go into tonight 0-2 in this best of five series on the brink of elimination. And Charles, what's happened from the regular season to the playoffs? Well, I think two things. Uh, number one, you know, people said this season that we had a weakness. It was matching up against taller teams. And we have had trouble matching up with their big guys. And the series has been a walk it up series. They have really done, they use the shot clock uh, pretty much up. And uh, we haven't ran as well because number one, we haven't, uh, they've done a good job on the offensive board. And, and then the second thing, we haven't made a lot of shots. We have not shot a good percentage. I have not shot a good percentage. Uh, but I think it's been a half court series and they're, they're better in a half court than we are. Paul Westfall told us today, he says he wants the team to play loose, not be afraid to make some mistakes. Well, I think there's one thing, you know, <laughs> one thing that's disappointed me, you know, people uh, said, let's go away to training camp again. Let's get focused. Well, if you won 62 games, I think you're pretty much focused. And I think our young guys have not relaxed. We have not handled the pressure well. And I think that's been a, a big uh, part of it. I mean, first of all, if we won 62 games, we, and we had the most fun, loving, practical, joking team in the league. And we have not did any of that. Everybody's been uptight. And uh, we just got to relax and play basketball because, you, you know, there's no need to change. If you want 62 games, there's no really no need to change anything. Charles, how do you play loose? It's like somebody telling you to be funny. I mean, how do you do that? Well, I think, number one, uh, I came in with the mentality that I wasn't going to take any three-pointers. I have not taken one. Well, number one, I think if I take three-pointers, uh, it loosens us up because if I make it, everybody's laughing because I made it. And it loosens me up because uh, it makes my defender maybe, you know, uh, he says, I don't think you can do that again. I'll make a couple in a row. But I, I think the main thing, you know, it's easy to say that, but uh, Marlon Ains got to make some shots, so they're not going to loosen up. Uh, they're, they're struggling from the field a little bit, uh, am, as, a, as am I. But it, it, we got to get uh, Ains and Marlon some good, some better shots, wide open shots, because they got to make a couple of shots. Then they're loosening up. It's easy to say loosen up, but if you're not playing well, 
you're not going to loosen up. So we're going to try to get the game speeded up. Every time I get it, I'm going to try to get it out or take it myself. Even if they score, I'm going to try to take it out in a hurry and get it going. So you're going to launch your three the first time you get it? First time I touch it, if I'm behind the line, I'm going to let it fly. <laughs> Just get everybody into the game. Charles, I noticed that you said that you brought four sets of clothes, two different practice gears. You're planning on being here Thursday night. I'm planning on being here. I think that, you know, we have, you know, you know, everybody finds negative, but the positive thing is we haven't lost at the forum this year. The negative thing is they're up two zip. So uh, to me, that's a 50-50 proposition, and I'm not ready to go home yet. And uh, we don't give up. Uh, we didn't have the best record in the league uh, for no reason. We got hard. You know, people said we're not tough enough. We're tough enough. You know, we do have any weaknesses. It's a lack of height, but it has nothing to do with mental toughness because this team is tough as it gets. Good luck tonight. Thank you.